This is for those that you, of you that use Windows Media Center in Windows 7 or in Windows Vista. So I'll open up Windows Media Center in Windows 7, 64-bit. And it's a nice little add-on called Media Browser. So I'll click on the icon and wait for it to load. And as you can see here, it has movies, podcasts, but you can add pictures, you can add your music. Uh, you can configure it uh, with different um, add-ons or plugins, and uh, I'll close this down and I'll show you uh, where you can get this. So let's uh, open a browser, and you can find it at Media Browser. Well, there it is already, MediaBrowser.tv, and then you just press Enter to go to the site, and. When the page opens up, um, yeah, it does a little transitional thing here to show you the different uh, themes and backgrounds that you can have. And as you can see here, it's got the um, Internet Movie Database rating, and uh, it shows you the runtime. And you can choose different, uh, all kinds of different backgrounds. You can have cover flow. Um, Actually, there, there it is. There, so it's it's really neat. Um, if you use Windows Media Center, it's it's well worth the download and uh, configuring. So simple enough. You go to where it says download. This is free for non-commercial personal use, and the current version as of this video is 2.3.1, and you can even download the source code if you want. Yeah, okay. So anyway, you go to download now, and that's the current release. Uh, I think they have other betas, but best to get the current one. They have a checksum here, and there it is there. That's the final link, and it's only 3.7 megabytes to download. So I already have that installed. Now what it does, it suggests that you open, that, to, that you run Media Browser in a... Um, as a service when it starts up. I found that it works much better if you do that. So it's in the system tray here. I'll right click and here's the server itself. And it shows the uptime and last refresh and the next refresh I res I've scheduled for two in the morning. Um, and you can allow slow providers and there's manual options to clear the cache which you don't really want to do that much. Okay, and that's about it for this part. Usually, you just leave it as it is. If you you know, just change the schedule if you want. And we'll go back down to the tray, and this time we'll open up the configure button and wait for it to launch. There we go. Okay, it opens up in its basic interface. You can select advanced, but basically, it's good to start with. And there's your media and you can add a collection by just selecting add and you can add anything from uh, your computer like I said your music your photos your movies your home videos um, whatever you have uh, you can uh, enable podcasts and you, from there you select add it's usually like an, a, a feed like an RSS uh, address um, actually on the website they have a whole uh, pre-compiled list that you can download and insert right away. Uh, plugins. Um, you can get different themes and different uh, plugins themselves. You select more plugins. You have themes and other. Uh, primarily, I use high quality thumbnails just for they look nice. Media provider info, such as uh, about your media, such as Kodak bit rate resolution and so on um, if you like subtitles as a provider keep in mind that some of these are not free uh, I know these two are they're open source um, but some of them may not be free so just uh, be aware of that and same with the themes too I know um, I think it's Pearl I'm not sure if it's free or not it's one of these anyway Okay, so when you're finished uh, selecting your plugins, 
press done and you can go over to the display playback page show clock if you want it uh, dim unselected posters and your visual theme I chose diamond uh, I chose to download it and the reason is because is I like to show the weather okay the default theme does not show the weather so and they, you have to enable enhanced home screen for that and it shows you how to get your Yahoo weather ID uh, under the help section and then when you're done with that you select save um, under advanced there's uh, parental controls if you need to use those there's an extender such as Xbox 360 trans encoding and an ISO mount um, if you have a virtual CD DVD uh, it'll, it'll do that you select a play letter you can get it to use autoplay um, external players I don't have one um, you have to select a uh, a media type so DVD a blu-ray HD whatever you want of course I don't have one so I'll select cancel so you go back to basic and that's it once you have that configured it's uh, ready to go and you fire up uh, Windows Media Center and it goes and it's the first button you see uh, most of the time and there's even a tutorial on how to change this button here if you want to so um, I hope that uh, is some use to you if you don't already have this and uh, if you use uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista Media Center I I'm pretty sure uh, it's uh, you'll find it very useful and great thank you very much for watching and bye for now